Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Buddy Blackford here with another fun After Effects CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to animate some more motion graphics like text and typography to make it come flying from off the screen into the screen and how to do it correctly so it looks uh, like appealing to the eye. So this is what we're going to make real quick and I'll start from scratch once you are, and I'll delete this out and start from scratch. And it's just text that's flying in, and it's como estas, and you know the rest. And this little guy here, I just made myself, and I stole the troll face, and uh, the rest of it we'll uh, throw on, and you can see how um, when everything comes in, it like kind of like bounces at the end, so that's more visually pleasing. And if you didn't notice it, that's good. That means I was doing my job. So, but if you're looking for it as a visual effects artist or a motion graphics artist you you want to make sure that you have that in so it doesn't look like it's just slamming in there and stopping which doesn't look very real so I'll show you how to do this and we'll start from scratch so I'll just uh, turn turn these uh, layers off and what I did was I grabbed a color scheme from cooler so if you just type in cooler and in uh, Google it'll pop up and you can steal color schemes from there it's not stealing they're available for everybody so what I did is I made my background out of this green which if I turn this off there is a green and just use these other ones for my text so let's go ahead and create new text and we'll do Como first so it comes out like this because this is how I had my uh, text at first so I've got K H M E R U I is the font family and then I set it to bold now I'm going to change the color here to no I don't want to change that color I want to change that I want to change the fill color here to the to the orange and then I'm going to change the um, stroke color to purple and it kind of gives it like an outline pop uh, more poppy effect with having the stroke color on there and uh, my stroke is let's see what it's set to um, my stroke is set to round so you come down to line join and hit round and it'll be set to round if you have miter on it's gonna be square and that doesn't really go with what I'm trying to do with the uh, stroke and everything so let's go back to round and I'll click off and what I'm gonna do is duplicate this by holding I'm gonna delete everything else out of here that I don't want delete all that stuff so <clears throat> I've got this uh, here I'm gonna duplicate it and just bring it down hold shift and bring it uh, drag it down and uh, this one's gonna be a stas Como estas means what's up in Spanish. I'm going to make that a different color. Make that that red. I don't know if these are the exact colors I used in my other one in the right order, but and then we're going to make our next one here. Control duplicate. Control D is duplicate. Bring this down. And I don't want to swear, but you guys know what that is. Since I have a little star here, it means I'm not swearing. And then I'll highlight this and change the fill color here by using my dropper to this color up here. And hit OK. And then we've got our colors here. And now I can t turn my color scheme off. And we've got our text here. Sorry for zooming in all over the place. Now we can increase the size. Let's uh, zoom out so we can figure out what's going on. Increase the size here. That's probably good. I just increased the scale and I did them all at the same time by selecting them all and increasing the scale. Pressing S for scale. Let's move them all over at once to the right because we know we're going to bring in our little uh, Mexican guy. 
and bring these up. I'm going to press, I'm going to hold shift and press the up arrow to go up incrementally here. And I'm going to do that same with this one. And I just went down two spaces each. Now let's bring in our Mexican guy here. And what I did is I just, I just made this guy in Photoshop. I just found the troll face and um, just put a hat around him and drew a mustache on him. Let's bring him in. And we will scale this way down. Because it comes in huge. Uh, that's about good. And now it's time uh, that we need to animate this. So we're going to animate this on the z-axis in 3D space. So let's create a camera, layer new camera. And the default 50 millimeter is good for us. We're going to turn our layers into 3D layers now. So that's good. Um, lock your background layer so you don't click on it by accident and uh, move the background layer because that always happens. It's really annoying. Let's um, start animating uh, these on the Z axis. So let's start with Como here, which is going to be at, is at the bottom. And let's open our position. And we don't want to affect the X and Y at all. We just want to affect the Z. So what I'm going to do is click on position, then right click on it, and click on separate dimensions. Now we don't have to worry about animating X and Y while the Z is being moved.